Hey guys, today I have a quick update on my age bot that I accidentally built. Um, by that I mean I tried to build a Core XY X3D XS, but um, by uh, building an age bot instead from the uh, same same frame style, I saved about 50 bucks. Um, I pretty much built it from a piece of wood and my old eye too. Um, I bought the wood, the, the wood, uh, the, what's it called? Not a pallet, but you know, um, a sheet of wood for $34. It's pretty nice wood. Um, I think it's like a half inch thick or something, something like that. And it's really nice wood. Smooth, doesn't have too bad of splinters after some sanding. So yeah, I... I had to borrow a jigsaw from a friend to get it all cut out. We used his table saw to uh, cut out it to smaller pieces. And the pieces these size. And yeah. Then I used the jigsaw to cut all that out. So now I'm gonna explain how this is an H bot instead of Core XY. It's an H bot uh HBOT first of all because it has two Y motors. See these control the X carriage. I move those. And I have one X motor. That's on the X axis. The X carriage. And I also instead of using a belt uh like they used on the Thingiverse uh the Thingiverse stuff on there. They used belts for the Z, but I got rid of that idea. And I used the threader rod instead because I don't like that idea better. Um, so yeah, I'm using an E3 clone because I'm too cheap for a real V6. Whoops. And yeah, um, using caps on to hold all that stuff together. Um, so I have about I have a couple different parts that I had separately. Um, printed um, that didn't come with the these downloads aren't recommended um, from the Thingiverse page. Uh, that's a Wade's uh, the gear the Wade's geared extruder, the uh, Z motor bracket, this small L bracket to hold on the uh, X pulley, and the uh, switch uh, the end stop holders. Um, those are all separately found on Thingiverse, pretty easy to find, just a few minutes of searching. And, um, they recommended, um, in their Thingiverse page, they had this one large part that was a bed support, and it had two plastic arms instead of those two, uh, wooden arms that's connected to the back plastic piece. All that was connected, but I didn't want to have a seven hour print. So instead of making the arms out of plastic, I just cut them out of wood and screwed them onto the plastic back there and it works perfectly for me. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see. And the print is finished. So yeah. Um, I'm using Hatchbox Transparent Green. I got it in a contest. It's Pretty nice stuff. You should try that out. You can get it on Amazon. I'm not sure how much it is. Didn't really look at that. But that's my main supplier. Hatchbox. It's really high quality filament. That's pretty much all I use if I um don't get it for free. If I um yeah, if I don't get it for free. Because I get two free spools of knockoff off brand Chinese filament. I don't really know what it is. Um has a weird brand. And that stuff is just awful. I've tried everything with it. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's about it. I'm using a ramps with an uh, ATX power supply. Works perfectly for me. Two Y motors. Works perfectly. You should try that out. There's no problem with that. Pretty clean wiring. I think I did pretty well. I need to extend the cables. Um, what are they called? 
Uh, what, I can't remember the name of them. But the ribbon cable, that's it. These little things I need to extend them so I can put the LCD up here. I'm not sure if I can extend those with regular the wire. I, they, uh, Folger Tech sells 24 inch cables, so I might just do that. Um, so that's about it. Um, not really much with my Prius i3. Gonna sell that eventually. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about these printers, you can go ahead and comment down below or message me on YouTube. I have a bunch of ways that you can contact me. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye.